It is the threat to life in South Florida as we know it. Sea level rise. We already see the signs of it with tidal flooding in neighborhoods and downtown areas, but a new report shows it's happening at a faster rate. As Stevens is Miami meteorologist Casey Sherman shows us, it means the time to start working on long term solutions is now. <laughs> Carlos Alvarez is the manager at Pub Belly Sushi in Sunset Harbor. Today it's dry, but that's not always the case. The storm system that brought heavy rain to Miami Beach last November flooded the restaurant. You can see also the damage in the wall that goes by the water, but all the flooding that every year. And for a bustling sushi spot like this one, flooding hurts business and is a big source of frustration. It's really frustrating because we can't do anything until we don't have the pump station like turn on over there. Everything is like full of water. The pump station he's referring to is one of many that have been installed on Miami Beach over the past decade. These pumps, along with raising streets, are methods being used to combat sunny day high tide and heavy rain flooding, which are getting worse thanks to sea level rise. Over the past 80 years, the sea level has risen about a foot in South Florida. As sea level continues to rise, drainage systems based on gravity become less and less effective. So storm water and water from a high tide flooding eventually has nowhere to drain and eventually then reverse flow can happen. Because of that, pump stations like this one behind me have been installed across Miami Beach to mechanically pump out the water off the roads and put it back into the bay. But will this be enough to keep up with future sea level rise? This is the, the NOAA Intermediate High. Ryan McNulty, a senior research associate at the University of Miami's Rosenstiel School of Marine, Atmospheric and Earth Science, says sea levels are rising and doing so at a faster pace. It's pretty clear to see it's not a straight line. Um, so that's where relative to 2020, this projection has another foot of sea level rise by 2050 another two feet or so by 2070 and another three feet or so by 2080. So it, it speeds up. With some parts of South Florida sitting at only three feet above sea level, a three foot rise in sea level by 2080 would mean some areas would be underwater. The ocean is coming up. There's absolutely no way around that. And so we can adapt as much as we can. If that's a, something as simple as raising roads, installing pumps, those are things that we've already done. Um, that's kind of a short term fix. <laughs> Scientists like McNoldy note that there are a lot of unknowns when it comes to sea level rise forecasting, but there's no question that the ocean is rising at an accelerated rate. The future of South Florida depends on how well we adapt to that in the coming years. I'm meteorologist Casey Sherman reporting in Sunset Harbor for CBS News, Miami.